Welcome to Zarin Tech. Today I will be going over compensation structures in Workday. This video covers eligibility rules, eligibility reports, compensation elements, compensation grades, compensation plans, and compensation packages. Let's start with an overview of compensation structures in Workday. Compensation structures in Workday operate at both the enterprise and individual worker level. They are comprised of grades and plans which are grouped into compensation packages. The structures provide guidance and reference for pay ranges. Grade profiles allow for localization. And Workday supports various types of pay components. Now let's look at compensation eligibility rules. Compensation eligibility rules determine an employee's eligibility for each compensation component during staffing. Eligibility is based on any combination of organization, job profile, location, and permissions. Next up is compensation eligibility reports. There are several key compensation reports. Compensation rule assignment shows compensation plans assigned to workers. Employee compensation audit summarizes each worker's compensation. Compensation spreadsheet exports compensation data. Compensation Changes Report tracks modifications to compensation. Let's see what compensation elements are. Creating Jobs and Positions Position is created with the context of a supervisory org. You need an open position available before you can staff a supervisory org if using a position staffing model. Few mandatory fields, posting title, number of positions, availability date, earliest hire date. Let's see, what is hiring restrictions? Hiring restrictions. To control on how a position or job management supervisory org can be filled. With job management you staff orgs by defining one set of hiring restrictions for the entire org. Job management is useful for orgs that prefer to define broad job requirements. You can loosen hiring restrictions by selecting the Allow Override of Restrictions checkbox in Edit Tenant Setup HCM Task. Default Compensation. You can set default compensation once position has created can be edited during the hire event. Navigation, position greater than related action select compensation and the request default compensation task. You can also choose request default compensation step in the create position or edit position restrictions business processes. This covers the key points on compensation structures in Workday. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe our channel to get more informative videos on Workday HCM.